What's good guys, if you need to make your ultimate team stronger, go to u7buy.com and buy yourself some cheap and reliable FC24 coins. Once you guys head over to u7buy.com, make sure to use my discount code DAN to get 6% off your next purchase on making that team better. Apart from FC coins, u7buy.com also provides more game services like top op mobile games, gift cards, game keys, etc. Click my link in the description and enjoy the cheapest prices now. Yo YouTube what's going on welcome to another video to the channel yeah boys and today I'm here to give you guys the top 10 best fullbacks in EAFC 24 ultimate team at this stage of the game It's been a little bit over a month since the last time I dropped my previous list Go ahead and join me in the comment section down below and let me know who has been your favorite fullback in EAFC 24 Now for today's list it's gonna include all type of special cards that have their first or secondary position as a right back, right wing back, left back, and left wing back. If the card does not have that as their primary or secondary position, they will not be in today's list. Also guys, before I go over my rankings, we're most likely not going to share the same list. So agree to disagree whenever I am performing these rankings. It's my opinion. We all got different experiences with certain cards. With that being said, Let's get into the first auto mention because this was a very, very difficult list. All right, boys, I can already tell a lot of people are gonna disagree with me already in the comment section down below, but the first auto mention was between that Quadrado Ultimate Birthday SPC, the Reese James Ultimate Birthday SPC as well, Future Stars Bacha, or that Ashley Cole Golasso, but I went with 93 rated Fantasy FC Hero Bombaster. We're looking at cards 5-4 in the height, high, high work rates, Double four star on skill moves and weak foot, left footed. Acceleration type is mostly explosive. 94 pace, 91 shooting, 92 passing, 93 dribbling, 91 defending, 84 physicality as well. Play styles that the card comes with. Dead ball, incisive pass, anticipate, press proven, and quick step all on basic. And then she has the relentless and whip pass on gold, which is absolutely amazing. When this card first came out, she was a 90 or a 91 rated over. I'm not exactly sure, but she got the full upgrade and she is looking absolutely insane with the A1 pace, A1 shooting, A1 passing with the play styles in the passing category. Everything in the dribbling category is 90 plus. Very good defending, 99 stamina, which is absolutely insane with the relentless on plus. That means she's gonna last you the whole game. Only thing I don't like about the card is the strength and her being 5-4, you know, that's a liability. Aside from that, definitely a great option at this stage of the game. Second honorable mention might be a hot take for a lot of people, but like I said, it's my opinion. 95 rated team of the year, Kachuai. I do apologize if I'm mispronouncing the name. 5-3 on the height, high, high work rates. Double four star on those skill moves and weak foot, left footed. Acceleration type is explosive. 96 pace, 72 shooting, 91 passing. 96 dribbling, 90 defending, 82 physicality as well. Play styles that the card comes with is with pass on plus along with block on plus. And then the rest of the play styles are jockey, anticipate, technical, quick step, and relentless all on basic. I know a lot of people are going to disagree with me having her as an audible mention, but at this stage of the game, I just feel like there's so many fullbacks that are on the same level, if not better, but she's still a great option. Don't get it wrong, boys. 99 acceleration, 99 stamina, 99 agility, absolutely insane with the passing being 95 short pass, 99 crossing, definitely a great option still to use going into team of the season. Coming in at number 10 is probably going to be another hot take for a lot of people, but it's going to be that 93 rated Fantasy FC Rofo, fully upgraded looking absolutely insane, 510 on the height, high high work rates, 4 star skill moves with the 5 star weak foot left footed acceleration type is controlled 91 pace 90 shooting 93 passing 95 dribbling 92 defending 89 physicality play styles that the card comes with is with pass on basic technical first touch relentless quick step and then the two play styles on plus are pink pass and trickster as well now when i dropped my previous rankings last month i had rofo as an audible mention because i rated her but not that much, not that highly. She got the fully plus four upgrade and she's just absolutely insane. There's no denying the quality on this card. The only thing from Rofo that doesn't make her better than the other fullbacks on this list is the pace. 91 pace 
is good, but there's just other fullbacks at this stage of the game that are just way quicker. Aside from that, there's no denying that she's absolutely amazing at the fullback spot. Coming in at number nine is gonna be that team of the year, Ona Badley. I do apologize if I'm mispronouncing the name. 5-5 five, five on the height, high, high work rates, double four star on the skill moves and weak foot, right footed. Acceleration type is the most explosive, 95 pace, 80 shooting, 87 passing, 90 dribbling, 91 defending, 84 physicality as well. Play styles that she comes with, insights to pass on plus, jockey on plus and then the rest of the play styles all on basic anticipate with pass rapid relentless and quick step as well absolutely insane i believe she's around 1 million coins because of the little bit of the team of the season market crash but there's no denying the quality on this card insane dribbling insane pace 99 stamina top tier defending even with her being 5-5 which is really surprising. Great links as well. Another great option to use going into team of the season. Coming in at number eight is gonna be that 94 rated team of the year, Fring Pong. We're looking at cards five, seven on the height, high, high work rates, double four star on the skill moves and weak foot, right footing. Acceleration type is explosive, 99 pace, 80 shooting, 89 passing, 95 dribbling, 80 defending, 84 physicality as well. Play styles that the card comes with, with pass on plus, jockey quick step relentless long throw first touch and flare all on basic and then the secondary play style on gold is going to be rapid guys there's not much to say about fring pong the stats speak for itself 99 pace 99 agility and balance 99 stamina in my opinion this is 1000 the second best team of the year fullback in the game Obviously, there's another one that's a little bit more expensive. But still, at this stage of the game, if you guys need an in-game fullback going into team of the season, Fring Pong is 1,000% your man. Coming in at number 7 is going to be a major hot take for a lot of people, but I do not care because I'm still using him on my team. It's going to be that 89 rated SBC, Alfonso Davies, that came out during team of the year. 6-1 on the height, high medium work rates. Five star skill moves, four star weak foot with that left foot. Acceleration type is controlled, 99 pace, 78 shooting, 85 passing, 90 dribbling, 80 defending, 83 physicality as well. Play styles that the card comes with intercept, rapid, quick step, and Travella all on basic. And then he has wit pass on plus as well. Now I can already tell there's gonna be a lot of people saying, Dan, you rate Davies at this stage of the game? He's absolutely ass. I'm gonna strongly disagree with y'all boys. Maxed out pace, which is absolutely crucial for a fullback. Insane passing, which is crucial as well for a fullback. Great dribbling with the five star skill moves. Good work rates, high medium. Four star weak foot, great physicality. The only thing from Davies that's not elite, well two things, is the stamina. 87 stamina is a little bit shaky. And the defensive AI is questionable at times. Aside from that, you give him a sentinel chemistry style, he is still cooking. I don't care what anybody says. Coming in at number six is gonna be that 93 rated Golasso I can revert to Carlos, 5'6 on the height, high, high work rates, a double five star on those skill moves and weak foot, left footed, acceleration type is controlled, 94 pace, 86 shooting, 86 passing, 85 dribbling, 80 defending. 90 physicality as well. Play styles that the card comes with is a lot of them, so hear me out. Power shot, dead ball, long ball pass, rapid, quick step, Travella, and long throw, all on basic. And then the two play styles on gold are relentless and wit pass as well. Now, you guys know me. I usually don't rate Roberto Carlos and FIFA that much because of the height and him being double three. I rated the future stars a lot. The SPC is still out, if I'm not mistaken. Then they gave us a double five Roberto Carlos. Double five, man. That compensates everything with him being 5'6". A1 pace, A1 passing, decent enough dribbling. It's not top tier, but it's decent enough. A1 defending, great physicality even with him being 5'6". And the 97 stamina for him to last you the whole game. Just 1,000% an amazing option. And I can tell a lot of people are going to use this card as a center mid even going into team of the season. All right, boys, and we're getting into the top five. And honestly, numbers five, four, three, two, and one can be completely interchangeable in whatever order you want. But for me, number five is gonna be that 94 Golasso Icon. 
Kafu. We're looking at a card's 5-9 on the height. High, high work rates. 5-star skill moves with that 4-star weak foot right footed. Acceleration type is controlled. 94 pace, 80 shooting, 87 passing, 91 dribbling, 92 defending, 86 physicality as well. Play styles that the card comes with. Power shot, power header, flare, travella, relentless, quick step, and aerial. All on basic and then the two play styles on plus or slide tackle and with pass as well. The Thunderstruck version of this car was absolutely insane. I do not care what anybody says. Maybe you can make the argument he's a little bit outdated now at this stage of the game. But we got this Golasso Kafu with 5 star skill moves. 4 star weak foot with insane dribbling. Look at the dribbling. One of the best dribbling fullbacks in EFC 24 with that 95 stamina to last you the whole game. Insane pace, insane passing, top tier defending, everything being 90 plus. He is very, very broken and it makes sense why he's still over 1 million coins even with a little mini market crash. Coming in at number four is gonna be that 91 rated ultimate birthday icon Gianluca Zambrota. We're looking at a car that's 5'11 on the height, high, high work rates. Double five star on those skill moves and weak foot, right footed. Acceleration type is control lengthy, 92 pace, 77 shooting, 85 passing, 87 dribbling, 89 defending, 87 physicality as well. Jockey, block, slide tackle, bruiser, and press proven all on basic. And then he has anticipate. We haven't gotten a special card Zambrota in a really long time in EFC 24. He was already pretty solid in the beginning stages of the game. Obviously, he got a little bit outdated, but damn, they gave us this ultimate birthday version that's double five, 90 plus pace, insane defending, and physicality. Good enough dribbling. I wish the agility and balance was just a little bit better. The secondary thing from Zambrota that's not exactly my favorite is his body type. Even though he has 85 strength and 89 aggression and eye contacts, he's not the most physical player when it comes to one-on-one -on -one tackling even though he does win the majority of them. Aside from that, guys, 1,000% a top five fullback in the game. Do not care what anybody says. All right, boys, we're getting into the third spot, and number three might be a hot take for a lot of people, but it's going to be that 93 Carlos Alberto Ultimate Birthday Icon version. Five-star skill moves or the five-star weak foot version. It does not matter. 5'11 on the height. High, high work rates. Four-star skill moves, five-star weak foot, or vice versa. Right footed. Acceleration type is controlled, 91 pace, 85 passing, 87 dribbling, 90 defending, 88 physicality as well. Play styles that the card comes with, power shot, long ball pass, wit pass, intercept, jockey, and aerial, all on basic. And then the two play styles on plus are relentless and anticipate. Lovely stuff right there. Now, a lot of people are going to be like, why do we have Zambrota lower on the list than Carlos Alberto when he's double five? And Carlos Alberto is only 4-5 or 5-4. It's going to be very simple, guys. I just prefer Carlos Alberto's physicality and his body type just a little bit more over Zambrota. I'm cool with a fullback just having the 5-star skill moves as long as they have the 4-star weak foot and vice versa. 90 pace, great defending, insane physicality with his body type, great dribbling as well. And then this man has the anticipate play style. We all know Carlos Alberto's base version is still very overpowered. They give us a birthday version with two play styles on plus, 1,000% a top five fullback as well, no debate. Coming in at number two is gonna be that 94 rated team of the year, Theo Hernandez. We're looking at a card six foot on the height, high, high work rates, double four star on the skill moves and weak foot, left footed. Acceleration type is controlled, 98 pace, 82 shooting, 87 passing, 89 dribbling. 88 defending, 92 physicality as well. Play styles that the card comes with is with pass on basic, anticipate on basic, rapid, relentless, and long throw on basic as well. And then the two play styles on plus are quick step and jockey. A Theo Hernandez team of the year with 99 pace pretty much with quick step on plus. Very, very broken stuff right there. There's not much to say about team of the year Theo Hernandez because a lot of the team of the year fullbacks kind of crashed price-wise because of the team of the season coming very, very soon. This team of the year, Hernandez, is still over 2 million coins. That says a lot on how broken he is in the video game with that 99 stamina. He's going to last the whole game. 
insane physicality with his body type and being six foot still one of my favorite fullbacks to use at this stage of the game but coming in at number one and i don't even think this is the debate honestly it's going to be that 93 rated fully upgraded i believe fantasy fc mendy i don't know if he was supposed to be a 93 or 94 to get the full upgrade but i did know he was a 90 rated when he originally came out this card is absolutely insane 511 on the height high high work rates four star skill moves five star weak foot with that left foot acceleration type is controlled 99 pace 87 shooting 89 passing 88 dribbling 87 defending 95 physicality as well play styles that the card comes with is ping pass block rapid flare and relentless all on basic and then the two play styles on plus are quick step and slide tackle as well now same thing with Theo hernandez you have a mendy with maxed out pace he has rapid on basic and quick step on plus this card is never getting outpaced he's never getting lb wide he's just one of the quickest players in general in efc 24 99 stamina with that 93 strength 92 aggression combination he's basically very similar to theo hernandez main difference is that this manly has the five star weak foot that's what's going to give him the edge over theo in my opinion and the main reason on why He's the best fullback in EFC 24 Ultimate Team at this stage of the game. But yeah, guys, that concludes my list on the top 10 best fullbacks in EFC 24 Ultimate Team at this stage of the game going into Team of the Season. You guys let me know in the comment section below what do you guys think about my list. If you guys felt like somebody on the list should have been higher up or moved down a little bit lower. Also, if your favorite fullback is not on this list, don't feel like I don't rate them or I don't think they're good enough. I just think that these fullbacks are slightly more overpowered and more meta at this stage of the game. Agree to disagree. The next video I'm going to go ahead and drop is going to be the top 10 best center backs at this stage of the game, in my personal opinion. That's going to be a very, very difficult list. But you guys know me. It's all about opinion and preference at the end of the day. Until next time, it's been your boy Dan FIFA. I am out. Bye-bye.